congratulations. Uh, I'm, I will try to make a complex question. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, no! Not if we are long, but... Uh, but <laughs> But, uh, I, yeah, but I would like to ask that how long was the first cut of the film and if I'm, and if I'm, uh, if I'm not uh, wrong, I, I assume that there was a shorter version of this film too. So can you tell me a little, little bit about the secrets about the... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, the, the, we had like 100 hours of, of 120 hours of, of footage and, um, and it, it took very long to edit it. But um, in the end, we had like, I think the first version was like 185 or something. It was not so, that's not too far away from, from, from it was yeah, 20, yeah, 25 minutes or something. And then I really tried to, I mean, with such a long film, you have to be really sure. I mean, you're, you, 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 you know that people, I was very sure people would say it's too long. So you really have to defend that. and. Um, I, I tried to to shorten it. We tried to shorten it in several several ways, and um, yeah, but it 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 lost um, yeah it lost complexity, and I had the feeling it felt longer. You know, sometimes this happens because you cut out like the um, yeah cut out the space, and I, that's something that I really think is important for that film to leave space for the viewer to yeah to 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 reflect and also to. Yeah, and also the jokes needed to be. Uh, yes, I, I was always also interested in this moment before and after the jokes. That was also part of the story when everything falls apart again. So we tried that a bit like that. <laughs> this is a question to Ms. Hüller. This afternoon we talked, and uh, I remember I was asking you that uh, what do you expect of the prizes? And you were so sure that Isabel Hüppert will win. Was it a good play? Or you played very well? Or you really didn't think that you can win a prize? Because well, actually, if I was, yeah. I wouldn't tell you now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I mean, the chances. I, I think they were not so big. So I'm, I'm really happy now. It's really, I, we, we did so much work on this, and we, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful reward. I like it. I have a question. Um, what's your personal or your take on the success of the film um, here, but also I believe in, in Germany with audiences, a uh, uh, great success. And it's strange because it's such a long and strange, <laughs> weird film. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, everybody, yeah. yeah. It, it, but I, I personally think it has a lot to do with stress, because this is also a film about stress, and a lot of people are stressed out. We were and, also stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you don't see many films, seri half serious films about stress. Half so serious, I, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, what's your... I'm sure you thought about it. What, what's the connection with, for people? To connect with the film? Yeah. I mean, it's a bit like... I don't know, it's really hard to describe. To, to say why your own film has a, has, a, has a success because I know how it continues after each cut, you know, so I'm, that's when I see my film. It's, it's a different film to me, but I can say what I, that I hope for, um, that the film has like a universal center, maybe that's this father-daughter story. And I, I always try to construct a film so open that it has different angles, different perspectives, so that, that every viewer can like interact with the film or like like go for a walk in the film on his own and so yeah but I don't have a good explanation yeah uh, as you said it's um, you're, you're the first woman to win uh, this yeah. award congratulations um, and on top of it, first you're film made by a woman. There were producers. It's also producers' prize. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have to be correct. Um, and on top of it, it's a comedy winning, which ah. isn't obvious. I mean, wasn't that? Is it a comedy? No. Yeah, it's both. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, half, half. <laughs> half. It's half serious. We agreed on that. <laughs> um, was it, was that the category best film? you least expected to win because of that? Because that it's always more difficult to win that award making yeah. a half-serious or... Uh, 
loves you. I mean, it's actually I really try and it really worked to not expect something. I mean, I, it's not that I didn't prepare myself because I'm very afraid of saying something, you know. So that's but it's like with I mean, they were also now we won five awards and. For me as a filmmaker, a diversity in cinema, it's so important, it's so important to see uh, other films and it's good that this prize is not named best film or something because I don't believe in this, uh, in, like my colleague said, cultural competition also. I mean, it's, um, it's hard to compare films and um, so it was the film, yeah, it was at, for this moment the most uh, popular film and it gave us a lot of awards. So many. <laughs> yeah. uh, we are expecting that the actress uh, awards uh, during the Oscars are going to be much stronger than uh, uh, the men categories. Uh, do you think that this is the time when women in a film are... This is the best time for women in film right now? Or, and um, what, do, what would you say about, what would you say to Polish directors? Because uh, from Polish point of view, my point of, my point of view, it's not the case because uh, in Poland there are not so many good or great or outstanding uh, roles for women. Well, that's a tough one after <laughs> midnight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really try. Well. Uh, first of all, I hope that it's always a good time for women in film. I, I, I just don't want to give another answer. I think there are roles, there are characters that want to be played, and I think every actress has the chance when she decides to make a character even stronger than it is in a book. It's something that, that we can do. And... Um, I can't... I, I, the, I know a few Polish persons and one of them is a Polish um, assistant director. So, and he's a very smart guy. But I, I really don't know so much about Polish film culture. I'm really sorry. I can't answer the question. That was too tough. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was only half. I so couldn't have I'm half. So sorry. When I watch the film, I, I I can't compare it to any other film. I mean, it's totally a, a thing on its own, and that's very rare in cinema. But I can imagine that when you're making it, and you, there's not really not a, no, not a model for Tony Ekman because it's one of a kind. So it, was it strange? It's not in a genre, it's not in a recognizable art house style, it's something else. So was that confusing when you were working on it? Um, I mean, it, 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 I, with my last films, I, it, my, the film before was a film about a couple, so I had a lot of, in film history, a lot, there were a lot of... Um, uh, examples or great films that I that I watched a lot of times before doing mine, but um, with Tony Erdmann it was more that I um, yeah I didn't find so many father daughter films and it um, I watched comedies for sure also screwball comedies like old ones bringing up baby things like that or um, I watched uh, La Dolce Vita. Uh, several times to, because the party goes on and goes on so I was interested in, in structure also like of other films and um, and then what was really an important encounter was for me the to get to know um, Andy Kaufman he was a, a comedian or a performer an American one in, in, in the 70s and he had a because I was, did a research on alter egos of, of comedians and he was um, he had did very great things and he had a character called Tony Clifton and um, Tony Clifton was like this very much over the top bad guy, Las Vegas bar singer and Kaufman also denied his whole life that he's that guy and um, said he didn't even like him and Tony Clifton had an own agent and I was interested in, in, in that thing and um, yeah, that was a source of inspiration, that's why I that's where I took the Tony from, to make that clear. Okay. Okay. Here's one other really last question. <laughs> cool. And then it's over? <laughs> no, sorry, but it's like Tony Erdmann and Tony Erdmann didn't speak. So, yeah. I mean, what Tony Erdmann would Nobody say... Nobody did that speak, like, so oh, everything is clear. Can, no, because I have like maybe a fun question. No, but what Tony Erdmann would say to this award show <laughs> as a coach, uh, as a mother? Because 
I mean, and maybe the, the serious part of the question was because you are not, I guess, playing a double role, but like a complex role, that you are this father playing a coach. Playing. Yeah. So what was the toughest part? So two questions. What Tony Ehrman, as a coach of all of us, would say tonight? And what was the toughest part? Oh, yeah, that's job? nice. I would like to be thank the coach you, of all Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it's very <laughs> unserious. And, uh, he, he does say uh, he risks a lot. And uh, the reason why he risks is uh, the love to his daughter. And... Uh, for me, um, the film is, I, I, I like the film when, as an, as an, as an uh, audience, I like it very much because she doesn't force me in, in, in a way. She doesn't uh, make an uh, opinion and, and, and uh, uh, doesn't press a meaning or something. That I like very much. So, and uh, I, I can trust to the characters. Um, and this is the reason why the film needs time for to uh, get some uh, <coughs> cloud what's this? Trust. Yeah, to trust in the in the characters and then you can follow them uh, to the most crazy uh, things. This uh, and this is the, the the secret why why the the audience is taken. So she knows it but she doesn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have any more secrets.